All right, we're doing a little bonus with Rob Bernstein. We're gonna we're gonna talk uh, deep Epstein. Although with his egg-shaped penis, I don't know how deep he was getting into anything. I haven't read that one. Where did you read? Oh, that? dude, you never read about penis. his egg? Sh- no, this came out a long while ago that Epstein had an egg-shaped, a weird egg-shaped penis. It was described by many people as strange and egg-shaped. I actually have a theory that remember that glowing orb that Trump and the fucking president of Saudi Arabia were touching. I think that was just Epstein's penis. I, I you- don't re- I don't remember that story, but I love this conspiracy theory. Yeah, there's a there's a video of like uh, Trump and a bunch of sheiks just touching a glowing orb in the Arab world somewhere. When you say egg shaped, do you mean that it had like a decent like girth to it? Or I that- think I think when you say egg shape, I think it's like more like a like one of those smooth butt plugs that doesn't have the bumps on it. You know what I mean? But was it also that short of a penis? Because an an egg, like the middle of an egg, is a decent amount of a decent amount of girth. Like if you're getting that wide in the middle of your penis, that's not that's not I, bad. Even if it's uh, what I'm saying is if it's egg shaped, but like like a six inch egg shaped type penis is not bad. I don't think it. No, I think it was like I I believe it was a small egg shaped penis. Now, but also think, wider at the base isn't helping you much. All right. Well, that's egg shape would be more wider in the middle. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, and I get, and I guess the fact that it's thinning down towards the base, uh, you, no one's, no one's, n- n- it's not going to feel anything. But here's my my bigger question for you, as mm-hmm. an expert in uh in Epstein's penis, do you think having a smaller penis is uh kinder for the children that have to jerk him off because it's uh, easier on their smaller hands, or do you feel like if you're already going to have to jerk off an adult, they they would prefer to be working with some real equipment? I'm going to throw this out there. I think if you have one steady grip, here's the thing about the egg. Your hand is constantly doing this. I think that's a good way to get carpal tunnel. Oh, right. You know what else sucks is that you're not going to see another egg-shaped penis. So if, like, the demonstration you get from Ghislaine on how to jerk a dude off, who was probably the best in the entire world at that, Mm -hmm. but she's teaching you on him, those skills aren't even really going to convert once you finally get to leave the island and, uh, you know, get into normal sex life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they did get, they did get to leave the island finally. But then in the last episode, they remembered that their happiest part of their life was still being on the island. Right. Okay. I got one more question about the egg shaped penis. Mm -hmm. Do you think it was originally egg shaped or it was some science experiment gone wrong? Like something that they were doing on the island to increase his sexual powers or make it better fit inside of demons. I don't know exactly what was going on over there, but do you think Mm. that that was the original shape or like, Oh, that's actually, I like that theory that he had to have his penis shape altered to fit into the owl God's anus. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) <laughs> um yeah because owls lay eggs i believe right <laughs> that makes sense well, to me i would assume that their penis is egg shape um i mean that could that's an interesting theory yeah i think that could i think that could be what there it really is. are a lot of questions you know every time uh they give you another piece of detail you got a lot more to think about yeah there's not a lot of answers but there are a lot of questions also how much of this document did you go through zero i just uh oh I, really I, you're getting read, all your stuff secondhand. You're a fucking, you're a fucking uh, nuts and bolts guy. Um, on some stuff, on things like this, there's enough people uh, going through it, pulling out what's juicy. I didn't feel like, like on Supreme Court decisions. Sometimes I'll read the original material because I'm actually curious to. And nobody's actually doing it. Yeah, to see the arguments on something like this, it's people are pouring over and pulling out what's scandalous. So I didn't feel the the need to actually read through it. So I was out the night it came out and then like got home at like three in the morning and probably stayed up till about six, just combing through this thing. I was reading entire testimonies. So I, I, you you actually delved in, enlightened me. What was, uh, what was so fascinating in there? I jumped around a bit. Top thing I found out, Jeffrey Epstein is a worse, worse proofreader than me. (laughs) Okay. Uh, He sent an email saying that he needed, that's the thing is like this, everything kind of is this weird gray area. Like he was pretty sharp about not getting caught even in like, so there's an email of him saying that he wants to offer a reward to anybody who can discredit um, like these allegations of Bill Clinton and Stephen Hawking having an orgy. But he says it in a way where he literally says it's this way where he's like, 
if you read it and actually knew it to be false later on, you'd go, oh, yeah, that's clearly what he was saying. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, but there was a lot of typos in it, which means makes him seem erratic. And I like to believe the thing about Stephen Hawking. Uh, What's the midget thing? I, I've seen people talk about that Stephen Hawking, I guess, has a proclivity for midgets. He'd like to be with people even shorter than him stuck in a chair. <laughs> What's the story there? So this I could not find in this fucking document. Okay. Um, however, the prevalent thing is that what Stephen Hawking liked to do was have naked midgets fuck in front of him but then also he would have them write on a blackboard these equations but he would the equations would be too high on the blackboard and they would have to solve them and he wanted them to like tiptoe and just barely be able to reach to solve the equation what a weird thing to enjoy you dude, know i don't know man you're trapped in a chair you're getting fucking weird in your brain dude maybe this is the scandal is that Rich people are just really weird. This kind of is your joke in a way. I feel yeah. like, uh, you know, it's stories like this coming out, uh, you know, it, it helped refresh in that. And you got a great joke on this, but maybe there's no one out there who's willing, like, willing to just service the crazy rich when they come up with their fantasies. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, maybe there were no kids. Maybe it was just Epstein was the guy that you'd call up and say, hey, can you get me seven midgets oiled up solving math equations? Dude, there's literally a website where you can rent midgets. I I I want to say it's called Rent a Midget, but it's called <laughs> it's called something Littles. I know that this exists. I've I've been on the website. It might be Deliver a Little or one eight hundred like, midgets. Yeah, it's it's really simple. Leave off the last S for savings. <laughs> um, but it yes. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, <coughs> I was saying, and I think you'd appreciate this take, is I, there's nothing in my apartment. This is not a very nice apartment, and I don't like going anywhere anytime. You're telling me that Michael Jackson is potentially hanging out with Stephen Hawking, and there's anything that they're doing together other than having sex with children? Yeah, people, I don't I don't buy that. That's the only thing they have in common. Yeah, these people are rich. They could just stay home and drink nice wine at home. You're telling me that Stephen Hawking wants to get his... Uh, um, How great would real it be if Stephen Hawking was also a racist and just met Michael Jackson and typed into the computer, you'll never be white. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. Um, now, it does like, I, I, I don't know, what's your takeaway? Because it seems odd that they're leaking or putting out this information at all. It's kind of what I feel. And there's, there's a lot of redacted full pages and there's redacted it? names on the contact list, which right. is funny when you think about the fact that there are victims' names that are not redacted. Right. There's a like, so like, there's all these redacted pages, and people are like, this absolves it. What was crazy was I came home, like I said, I'm doing this at six in the morning, and I'm jumping back and forth between this document, which you could search through, and then Twitter. And I'm on Twitter, and the amount of people who, the amount of tweets that are like literally from congressmen going, Trump was named in the Epstein documents. And the only mentions of Trump in the Epstein documents are this. One, Epstein's plane had to land in Atlantic City because they couldn't get clearance to land in New York, so they stopped at a Trump casino. And two, uh, they lit like uh, they asked the girl who was the main long testimony in there, um, did you ever meet Donald Trump? Was he ever on Jeffrey's Island? And she goes, no. Those are the only two mentions of Trump in this 900 page document. Clinton comes up like six times. Uh, Trump does come up and this is the Trumpiest thing ever. There was a New York Post article that apparently he had been there, but he would hang out in the uh, kitchen. With yeah, the yeah this, is a, this is from a long time ago. And just eat and leave, which is the Trumpiest thing ever just to go to the orgy just because they have good food, eat in the kitchen, not even say anything to anyone and just go. No, supposedly, like that's like that's actually the Trump thing. Show face at this thing that you don't like, right? And not really admonish anyone for being there, right? Not be like, I mean, I guess this is what people do. I'm not into it. And he would like hang out in the kitchen and like tell the kitchen staff. Supposedly, these motherfuckers are gross. <laughs> well, like, that's the thing. I was uh, is that there's so many clues left on the table. 
Mm-hmm. There's so many people that were involved in this that like, I don't understand why they haven't done congressional hearings to firstly, the fact that the FBI still has a safe that they took out of his house mm-hmm. and just went, we lost it. That's insanity. Who's the guy who took it from that? Where did he deposit it? Bring all those people in. All the people that cut the deals, like that first deal, the just and whoever made that oh, statement. Oh, yeah, in Florida? Yeah, whoever made that statement of, oh, we were told that he was uh, an asset, bring those people in. Like, literally, yeah. congressional hearing, bring those people in. Who told you that? Well, you, know why, you, your... Dude, you know why there's no congressional hearings. We both, yeah, we both yeah, know yeah, why. They don't, no want, they don't want to dig into this one, but to me, yeah. that's the... Uh, that's the proof of it. Um, from everything I'm seeing, though, it seems to me like the operation was, you know, people get like very obsessed with uh, and maybe I'm just projecting here, but they get very obsessed with the idea that like the elites seem to like kids. And when you say kids, I kind of imagine eight to 13 year olds. Yeah, but it seems to be 16 year olds. It seems to be 16 year olds, which I'm not out in the world looking which for is legal in most of the world. By right. I'm not out in the world looking to have say, like even 23 and 24 year olds. Dude, I every find once her, in a while, I'll talk yeah. to a fucking like you'll meet some like I'll meet like some 20 year old like open mic chick at a comedy club and we'll talk for like 10 minutes and I'll be like, oh, my God, thank God I'm not still single. Right. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like because like this girl's giving me attention and this is like an easy one. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like, that's what I would. And I, then I'd be like an hour in, I'd shoot myself in the face. Right. You know right. what I mean? Like, I think I hung out with a 24 year old last year and it was kind of, I mean, it's hot, but kind of awkward, even at that age and anything b- below being able to drink. I'm just concerned of, oh, I'm going to go to jail for serving alcohol. To, not that I, I've never even hung out with a 19 year old when I was over 21, but I'm saying conceptually, if I was hanging out with a 19 or 20 year old. I would be like, I can't serve you that. I, I would turn into a total Jewish adult like at a party. Like, you can't. Oh, have really? That. Oh, yeah. But it, the point I'm trying to get at, sometimes you're out and about and you're like, oh, that lady's kind. And then someone says that I think that might be a 16 year old. Like, I never said that. It's so nefarious if you're drunk at a party and then someone sends someone up to you to go hit on you and you don't make an inquiry. Maybe you're looking the other way. And I'm not I'm saying I wouldn't want to be in this situation. I'm not looking to live this situation. And then you wake up in the morning and they're like, oh, yeah, we taped you. And that was a child. Yeah, I mean, for Israel for the rest of your career. That's it. You got caught. I think that fucking is what happened. I'm firmly in that camp, dude. I would not be able to tell you, dude, the amount of times I see a girl who I've seen get ID'd, who is 21. Um. That I'm like, that girl's 14. I like how this took a turn for us defending the pedophiles. But while we're defending the pedophiles, uh, I used to have a fake ID when I was in uh, high school. And I used to drink in New York City bars. That might have been the best time of my entire life was out in New York City bars as a 16, 17-year-old kid. Now, even to this day, you throw some hair on my face. I still have a young face. Believe me, when I was 17, I looked like I was 13. And I, you might have pointed this out to me when I was like, I still can't believe that I got away with that fake ID. And then someone pointed out to me, if you go work in a bar, everyone looks young to you. Like a 24 year old looks like they're 16 to you. Yeah. So you got a card, everyone. It, it, they all just look young. You know what I mean? It's like once you get once you yeah, I'm, I'm 35, you're like 52. But once you get to like, oh. <laughs> oh, once first you of get, all, that's what I do to Harrington. <laughs> well, Harrington's internal organs are like 73. Um homelessness and pizza will age a man uh <laughs> <laughs> also the the up down and weight i don't know maybe that's actually maybe that's good for a person i don't know no that's I, terrible for you no nah, because you're, you're 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 forcing your body to go uh from the extreme so it's used to both things i feel like it's like working out you know if you force your body up downs to go through extremes i feel like it makes a man more resilient rob i'm pretty sure there is a lot of research that jumping up and down in weight is uh, terrible. Fair you know enough. what I mean? Like I mean, it's, what it's, am it's, I, what it am taxes I your heart journals? a lot. Because your heart's not meant to fucking shift gears. So you're saying it works out your heart? It sounds like it would make your no, heart stronger. No, no. It is not. Your heart's not built to constantly shift gears. So your heart doesn't know what it's doing. So it's right. fucking it up constantly. Right, but your whatever. heart's Back supposed to, to be pedophiles. in your your heart's supposed to be in one size body for the duration of its lifetime. Yeah, and pretty so much. for a year it's pumping blood for a three hundred pound man, and then all of a sudden it's back to no. But then wouldn't you when you get back to one sixty five, 
when your heart fucking rock because it can handle 300 pounds. Yeah, but then your heart calms down again and you get fat again. And it's like, what are we doing? Like, that's the actual thing is the back and forth. Getting being fat and then getting small is fine. So we should tell Harrington to go back up to the weight that he's going to land at and just stay consistently there. Dude, I'm constantly always worried that my resting weight is like 225 and I could just easily get back up to 225 if I'm just not diligent. Right, right. Yeah, my right. resting weight's a little fatter than I am also. and mm. But I, I go up and down. Yeah, everybody does. But um, yeah, let's get back to these. So here's the thing about the pedophiles. This is how, okay. you, tell, this is how you tell if one of them is really evil, in my opinion. If they went twice. Because like you said, you wake up, you wake I, up and they go... That was a 16-year-old. We own you now. And you go, all right, I'll vote the way you want. But if you go back to the island, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, now you're just like fucking 16-year-olds. I see it the other way. That once he got got, and now they're offering you up some 16-year-olds, you already got got. Oh, in for a penny, in for a pound? It's like once you've done heroin once, that's how people get addicted. You know what I mean? I'm now a guy who does this thing. I can't imagine... I mean, I guess he was fucking training them. Like there was a there was one thing in the document with a lady who was getting. So by the way, this woman who the testimony is her not having sex with these people. And she right. was in her twenties when this happened. Gross, right? But she says there was a girl that she never got her age. Right, and she assumed she was. She felt very young. Now, if somebody feels very young to a twenty-year-old, right, they are definitely fourteen. Right. You know, well, 14 to 16. How come we still don't have any testimony about the actual island? Because you have. Uh, no, this woman did testify about the actual island, but she was not right. at any of the orgies. So basically what happened was she came around and then wouldn't do anything past like a hand job. She wouldn't do like any penetration, but she'd let like I think Epstein like fucking with a dildo once or twice. And she kind of kiboshed that after a while. And then she was just getting two thousand dollars to massage like their guests, like famous people. And like it seems like they kept her around so that they could call her as a witness later. Oh, you know to what say I mean? that she had never had sex with anyone. Say she never had sex with anyone, say she was over 21. And like, yeah, it's like it almost feels like they were like kept this woman around for five years, probably kept tabs on where she was so she could be subpoenaed. Like she was a witness for the defense, 100 percent. Oh, so this is the this is kind of the. Yeah. Where's all the how come no other victims have come forward for a payday? No, there's uh, been a couple. Uh, I think there's like there. it's up to like three now. But then there's a bunch of people think about it this way. It's like the woman I'm talking about. She claims she did no sex stuff, even under oath. Right. And she said like. When you Google her name, because she's talked about this, because she's been subpoenaed for this, it keeps coming up. And she's like, all she did was she took $1,500 once from a reporter who she claims misquoted her um, completely. But, like, it is this weird thing where it's like you get a payday, but now you're the Epstein Island chick. You can never get a job. Like, what is this payday? It's not a million dollars. I thought she got, isn't this the one that got a shit ton of money from uh, Prince, uh, the Prince? This is the, the lady that looks like Amy Schumer, right? The 20, the 22 year old? I don't think so. I mean, now she said she only mom. met Prince Andrew. She said she only met Prince Andrew once in the documents that I read. So there was another one maybe that did get a payoff from Prince Andrew. But um, it was very, like, I'm reading this whole thing and it, so basically the one thing that's incriminating, like, this is what I'm saying. I really do think they kept this lady around so they could later use her as a character witness. But like Jeffrey Epstein was such a piece of shit. Cause like I said, I read her entire testimony. It's like a hundred pages. Right. And um, it like Jeffrey Epstein was such a piece of shit. He couldn't help, but keep pushing towards the gross shit. Okay. Like, at one point he said about the girl who she was like, felt like a 15 year old orphan. Like she was like, she was like, yeah, uh, Jeffrey was joking around with me and said he woke her up on the plane and she instinctively grabbed for his zipper. Assuming like he wanted a blowjob right then and there. And that's the only reason why he'd be waking her up. Not that the plane had landed. Yeah, that's pretty sick. But also who sleeps through a landing? No one. She was drugged. Like there's no way around that. Okay. Okay. 
My favorite part of this testimony was, though, did you ever have sex with Alan Dershowitz? Now, mind you, he's the only person that they asked about that was not explicitly like a celebrity or somebody this woman had already mentioned. Right. She goes, no, I would remember that. (laughs) <laughs> that's how ugly of a person Alan Dershowitz is or to your credit of uh, the defense put this together beforehand she was explicitly told to drop his name as a definite no yeah 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 that that look here's the thing that could be the thing if they're keeping her around maybe they've had her on like some sort of stipend for the last supposedly she says this ended in 2006 but they put her through massage school they put her through um that one picture of the lady working bill clinton does not look like she knows how to give a massage well that's the thing none of these women really were masseuses right it would it was on the job training apparently Gislaine was teaching them how people like to get rubbed yeah that's what i was saying Gislaine must be the best in the entire world at that Gislaine yeah. could probably have a second career going to these asian shops and teaching women how to how to how to work quicker Dude, the amount of foot massages, though. She was like, I'm getting a thousand dollars for a foot massage. How and do I'm we like, find how do I find my own Ghislaine? Because the love and affection that she showed to that man, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty true. Yeah, it, it is kind of true. But it's like, well, she said uh, apparently the, the 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 line was she could never satisfy him the way because apparently he said minimum three nuts a day. Well, you figure, this- you're not rubbing one of those out. You mean on your own? Yeah, like it's like I don't, I don't need three. Like I don't know what after the age of like twenty four, did you really need three nuts a day? Like yeah, with if, the if person, anything, do you really need an afternoon nut, like a morning nut? Get the day started. I understand it. Nut. Evening nut to go to bed, mm. but you don't have shit to do in the afternoon. That you need a you need a afternoon nut. This is what I'm saying. This is a that's a young man's game. He was in his fifties at this point. Like it's yeah, like, but we don't know doing? what kind of adrenochrome he was on. You know what I mean? We we, that's true. we we've never felt the uh, the juice. Who well, knows when I talked to was when I talked to McAfee, he mentioned some uh, mix like some cocktail of research chemicals, and it, his exact words were, "That shit'll make you fuck a tailpipe." <laughs> Did he ever interact with uh with Epstein? I feel like There's- he would be a a spill all individual. He's never been mentioned in anything, though he did say, I believe he claimed this is what actually sucks about McAfee and why maybe he's not dead. He did claim to have a dead man switch. And that when if he ever died, all this information would come out. And he said it was like he kind of insinuated it was about this sort of thing, the Epstein shit and and so forth. But I mean, if it does come out that the state of Israel is turning people into pedophiles, essentially. Um, what does that mean for Palestine? Mm, what a tough question. What a tough one. If this actually turns out the entire out, UN likes young pussy too, and they don't care anymore. Yeah, I want you, you man, what a stumper. What actually happens if the story gets broken to the general public that the Mossad has been turning people uh for years in high positions and compromising them by getting them drunk or drugged at parties and then facilitating them hooking up with children what does that do in terms of public support for the state of israel Mm. it's got to end it it's public support support for the state of israel is i believe at an all-time low um you know i don't really look at charts and stuff like on that i i think like the boomers have just been so indoctrinated that they're still just kind of on board and that it's just all the younger Americans that actually get news from other locations are looking mm. at what's going on and going, Hey, this is fucked up. But what, not liking what they're doing right now to the Palestinians is different than going, Holy shit. These people have been hijacking kids to blackmail and make sure that we're sending them money. Um, well, and that's all, that's the thing that the boomers are the most concerned with. So if it turns out it's the Mossad, like, think about it. Like, that's the main boomer thing. That's the thing that the kids are saying is a conspiracy theory and all the older people are crazy for thinking. Right, right. Yeah, you got to wonder, because so many of these storylines, you know, they never get unraveled. Like the COVID thing. Fauci's never going to jail. They're yeah. never really going to do an investigation. The machine will roll on, and that's yeah. the end of it. The Epstein one, just everyone knows is a lie, and it does grab a lot more attention like, mm. even though if you were to look at it, 
the COVID shenanigans played more of an impact on people's lives. I mean, you're a hundred percent person. And well, that's the thing is I think the yeah. average person, even like, so like even here in New York, the average person that was hysterical about COVID wants to pretend they weren't right. You know what I mean? The, but also like, I was thinking about this last night randomly, like the amount of people that I knew who were just playing the game and would calling me to tell because they knew i was like everybody kind of knows that i'm never on board with like if you want to be mad at something you can call me <laughs> and like like all the guys i grew up with it was like if you're mad at one of these fucking like stupid liberal things feel free to call me my phone is open um and the amount of people who were like over it but like still wearing a mask like around their chin just to be like just so people know i'm on their team and i'm like yo you're being a dick you're right. being a bitch. If more people just didn't do that, we could go back to work. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, so it's like, it is this thing where it's like with COVID, I think that's a big part of the reason why. Um, And like, obviously it is being, you know, what's the thing where it's like, if something gets repeated enough, it becomes fact. Just propaganda. I mean, that's just the way they do it. So like the news is kind of like been pushing forth this We or they spent a year pushing forth this well we need to move on and forgive and forget like once the information came out that this was all bullshit and everybody was kind of mad at their fucking neighbors for pushing it you know what i mean but like the epstein thing is like this weird thing because it seems to be both sides of the aisle and we're such a fucking tribalistic fucking country at this point so that's the thing is like prince andrew could be the fall guy because everybody hates the royals right so it's like you know, that's the number one fucking juicy tip. Like people revere them, but like everybody's kind of like, fuck these people, you know, even like the British tabloids, like with this, it's kind of like, like I said, when you see the amount of like just blanket misinformation from both as this list came out, like one, two in the morning, just these tweets. And I don't know if they're bots or what, but like I said, I saw some from like actual Congress people being like, just saying the opposite thing to their constituents. Cause they know their constituents are in a bubble this thing's going to go away because of that shit. Yeah. I guess the other thing is in other forms of government, uh, you can always pretend like, for example, you take Fauci. Mm -hmm. So they're, you know, they're doing gain of function research, which looks like bioweapons research, but they go, you know, but we're doing it for the cure or you spend too much money on defense and you kill kids with droning them or whatever, but you're still engaging in, you know, the, the same activity that is military defense, which is drone yeah. strikes. When it comes to the kid operation, there's no, oh, we're experimenting on kids for, there's no other explanation. There's no way to, if there's a government organization that is uh, pulling kids in to have sexual relations with adults so that you can blackmail them, there's no other way to possibly explain it. There's no way to walk it back. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you could look at Fauci funding the COVID lab in uh, in in China and he could go, yeah, well, we're partnering with them on research. There's no way to explain why you would have some sort of an operation that that uh, includes recruiting kids for sexual activities. You see what I'm saying? There's no secondary explanation for it. I don't know. Uh, the Foot Clan in uh, Ninja Turtles. Ooh, what movie? were they up to? I don't remember that. They had. It, oh, you don't remember the movie? Which one? The first one? Yeah, the first one. They had all those like 15 year old kids stealing, like pickpocketing. Yeah, but to play video games. They just had a cool place to play video games. Do you remember that? And there, yeah. and there was the track with the with the the kids on the skateboards going around. But this is how what much I'm fun saying. did that look like? How much did you want to join a crime syndicate when you were eight years oh, old, yeah. watching that for the first time and going, wait, instead of being at home, I can go to some center and play video games and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Well, it's also like the um, what was uh, uh you ever see Pinocchio the cartoon? You mean the original one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was some creepy shit, dude. No, but there's a scene where all these kids are drinking and shooting pool, and then yeah, they all I, turn, that they, still scares the shit out of me if I think about that. That it, like dude, that weird dude, pit what, in your feeling thing when they started turning into donkeys. So I'll throw this out there until they started turning into donkeys, which is clearly not going to happen. I was like, that looks pretty fun. Yeah, it did look fun until they yeah. started turning into donkeys, and yeah. then how? Didn't you just feel like? a pit in your stomach. Like I still feel gross. Like I can remember that feeling as a kid watching that and just knowing that you were watching a nightmare. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But I mean, it's also like, it's the kind of thing where it's like, I, my dad was in the restaurant business. I had seen drunk people my whole life. I'm like, they don't actually turn into donkeys. 
Right. You're like, so, you know, me and my boys, we could be hanging out, shooting some pool, drinking some beers. Yeah, it's way better than school. Yeah. Um, all right. What else did you glean from uh from so you think that your your take is this lady was the plant from the beginning yes. to come forward and say that there was no sexual activity. And mm-hmm. I guess it is odd that we don't have more kids stepping forward to go, hey, or or well, more- I wouldn't want to first of all, these are the most powerful people on earth, right? Right. It's the, for, and the Clintons are murderers. <laughs> like, there's no way around that. By the way, I just got my final strike on the YouTube channel. <laughs> um, but like, it's, so it's like you, you're dealing with this. If I'm them, and first of all, a lot of this, like, so the woman in question that was uh, testifying, she stopped in 2006 when she was like 22. So that makes her what, like, almost 40 she might have a fucking husband and if you have a if you have a nice life why are you coming forward so the woman who brought these charges is looking for a book deal you know what i mean like so it's like she's apparent i think she's got like um do you ever you ever watch that show the surreal life back in the day maybe so china the wwf wrestler was on it right right and then so she was dating x-pac at the time and they were both junkies and he just showed up at the house because he was trying to get on TV and he had been fired by the WWF and nobody would hire him to wrestle because he was all drugged out. Right. And like, so it's like, I think she, I think this new chick is all fucked up and she's got some fucked up boyfriend around her. And he's like, let's get paid. He's fucking uh, James Woods in casino or whatever. Okay. Looking like, for some heroin money. Yeah, exactly. It's it's that kind of situation. Um, and fucking... It doesn't, I don't think, I think like that's, I, that's what I'm gleaning from this is like, maybe that this lady is that, that's why you're not hearing that much about it. That's why I was able to stay quiet for so long. Cause that's another thing. It's like, most women don't want people, especially from 20 years ago. Like now it's a little different with OnlyFans shit. And that's only the last five years, like 20 years ago. I mean, Epstein's been dead for what? Five years. Epstein died before COVID, correct? Mm, and that's when only fans became socially acceptable i believe epstein died before covid um which is crazy that we're talking about this and nothing has happened it's been that long um right. but like so it's it's uh it, even then be, pre-covid any form of sex work for the average civilian was considered fucking disgusting and like like, it's like, I mean, Dave always makes the great point. He's like, I think you should be allowed to do this, but I don't have to, I don't have to tell you it's empowering. You know what I mean? So it's like all of these women, think about it, there's a 20 year gap between 2005 when some of these girls would be coming forward and now, and it's like, and by the way, there is a Netflix documentary where they're all talking about it and nobody ever talks about that anymore. Because I, I couldn't get through the first episode. I thought they were going to like really delve into who was on this fucking island in this documentary. And then it's just girls crying. Oh, yeah. That's not fun to watch. It's three episodes of girls talking about being raped. And grouped. this was on Netflix. Yes. I watched like I watched about it. Stanley watched the entire thing. I was like, you are a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but like it be it becomes this thing fucking where it's like. I don't want people to know I was because a lot of them were like they're 16, but they were <clears throat> I'm not going to say willing participants, but like this girl that's bringing the charges, supposedly, according to the other testimony, it's like she was just it seemed like she had a shitty family life. She ended up here. But like at the time, it was of her own volition, like she was right. 16 and not legally allowed to consent, but it was of her own volition. You know right. what I mean? Right. Yeah, I could see as a 16 year old. Um, well, you and I are both lucky that we're not women because I'd be dead by now. Like if you threw the opportunities of being a lady with my compulsion, like I would just I'd be dead. I would, you know, if I could go to the bar every single night, someone bought me drinks and had sex with me. I would never not do that until oh, I dude, was dead. There's an Instagram account that I follow. Yeah. And it's one of these like little hype beach beast hipster bitches. Okay. That's just like a scenester in New York. It's called like Meg Superstar Rockstar, something like that. Um, and just like watching this girl go from being like this, like she was like trying to be edgy art student and then just is a fucking mess 
It's a great Instagram account. Go follow that shit. Okay. Um, but anyways, I could see 16, you're poor. You got nothing. Nothing's mm -hmm. going on in life. And someone offers you, hey, we're going to go party at this island with the wealthiest people in the world. You want to come sit out at the beach? That's what oh. happened to this 20-year-old girl. They yeah, found her at college. So supposedly Ghislaine Maxwell was just walking around going, hey, do you know where I can post a job? And she was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And they're talking for a minute. She goes, would you want to come here? And then they get him in. She does like one day of errands. Right. And then she calls her back and goes, would you actually want to give massages for $1,000 a day? And then it goes up to $2,000 a day. And then uh, they go, oh, do you want to go to New York with us? We're going to New York. Okay. Bring your passport. Then they go to the Virgin Islands, which, by the way, I've heard that there was something that came out where, like, they actively tried, they actively lobbied to lower the age of consent in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Oh, that's pretty wild. Like, he testified. I think Epstein testified after the shit in Florida and like the girl, you know, they have like a representative who doesn't get a vote in Congress. Right. So the active woman who's the representative for the U S Virgin islands, apparently brought Epstein in to consult with people in the U S Virgin islands. Like he was like, and like, even like the governor of New Mexico is named a lot in these fucking things. And he had a house in New Mexico. It's like, and like, so to me, it's like, if you're the governor of a podunk state, like fucking New Mexico, Right. We were just there. Right. It's like you're looking around New Mexico and you're going. This place fucking sucks. How do I get into fucking Congress so I don't have to fucking live here? Right. And then Jeffrey Epstein shows up and goes, hey, look at all the guys I'm friends with. He pulls out some photos. Right. You go, what? I just got to fuck that kid. <laughs> I get the fuck out of New Mexico. Think about it this way. Right. Matt, you're saying that the girls who are 16 will just accept the cock. If you're an old man and you're wondering to get the fuck out of New Mexico. You go, and I get the fuck this kid. <laughs> um, well, that's part of the grift is that, you know, you keep pulling people into the club and then they make the recommendations. So it seems like you're this legitimate powerhouse and it's intriguing. Wait, why is this guy friends with all these other people? And then it's you're at the party, you're hammered. And the next thing you know, you wake up in the morning. Hey, you know what you did last night? Oh, shit. It's a pyramid scheme. Yeah. And maybe his penis was more pyramid shit, rounded Ooh, pyramid shape. Than letting people know what they were getting yeah. into. Yeah. All right, last last question. Okay. This is the part of the story that I never really understood. If you got access to make your own island, and you're 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 working for the like, let's just say you're. Imagine he wasn't in the blackmail game, and his job was he was the the greatest pimp of all time. That the elites, they're into the 16 and 17 year olds. And so you're throwing parties that they could have sex with the 16 and 17 year olds. I would venture to guess, by the way, you could just probably go to Saudi Arabia and go to one of those palaces. And you ever, uh, see, you ever see that meme? Like, do not ask a woman her age. Do not ask. Uh, it was like, do not ask a woman her age, her weight, her body count or what they did in Dubai. Oh, that's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you went to Dubai, you're on contract. Um, <laughs> but why go to an I like, I, I mean, it's kind of your joke about uh, about what's his name, that sex is legal in the UK for 16 year olds. So yeah, why is he going where it's illegal? Um, but with all these people, I don't understand. Like if if I was Epstein, why aren't you just uh, other than you're trying to trap people into having done illegal activities, I would which then makes sense you would take kids from third world countries and go to places that the activities were legal or would never be tracked and are completely offshore. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that you're trying to trap people in what is a, like, a, it, you know, illegal is what seems to be more of the, uh, the blackmail angle, which the blackmail, did you see that one thing? That was the only thing I read was uh, people crop that piece where I guess they would interview the women after having engaged in sex with people. Mm -hmm. Um, so that they would have the information as blackmail. And she said that, huh? Oh, to the women. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, Epstein would interview the women afterwards. I would have thought he'd just film it, but apparently he would interview them afterwards. So he would have the videotape as blackmail. No, I think that's more powerful than a sex tape. Like a girl. Oh, actually a young girl about, looking at the right. camera and then graphically describing because if you're just because here's the thing, there's something right, goofy the tape about might looking be at hot. people. Well, no, no, there's just something goofy about watching people fuck. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, because like people don't fuck like porn, people, right? Like, if you took a side view and you didn't know you were being filmed, 
Like, if you don't know you're being filmed, like, if you know, if you're filming yourself fucking, you might try to fucking look hot. But right. if you're, think about, like, what you would actually, like, try to fucking take yourself out right. of your head when you're, like, hunched over. Like, right. like it's, like, it's not great. I, I've had both experiences. I've had some times where there was a mirror that you could catch a view, and you're like, wow, this looks pretty good. And then I have other times where I'm like, oh, God. Do I actually look like that? Jesus, yeah. someone please get rid of this mirror and yeah, yeah, yeah. apologize the to this lady. This is oh my god. Yeah, if you can see your gut or yeah. like some like there's some angles where you're like, holy shit, why aren't I important? This yeah. looks amazing. And then there's other ones where you're like, that's all the penis I have? Really? I've seen it before. It looks better than that. Is How deep I, is this lady's mouth? <laughs> I have the uh I, I feel like 99.7% of men, a three quarter from the back full profile no no man looks good in that like okay. it's like maybe the rock you know what i mean right. somebody you have to be that jacked right to right, like, right right to not be like oh right like, yeah and think about like the amount you're like kind of bent over like nobody nobody has very few people have abs sitting in a chair yeah that's true too yeah yeah, yeah. women right. like uh because even like I don't know. Obviously, you can get like sloppy fat, but for the most part, like, you know, sometimes they just get curvier and shit. Mm -hmm. I feel like they have the easier job of looking good naked. Yeah, they have tits. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like they got got... fucking weird looking. Yeah. And also, it's like if if you just have like a little bit of fat, you probably don't have a nice body. You know what I mean? So it's like like I don't know what percentage of men just like terrible with shirts off after 30. Oh, I'd say 90 percent. Yeah. 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 Nobody's maintaining muscle mass or bone density at the yeah. age of 35 for sure. I get fat on the worst places. Like some dudes get guts. I just get tits. Like I get the worst fat. That is terrible. I get women fat. You know what I mean? Like if I yeah. put on five pounds, it's just straight. Oh, hips and tits. tits. It's not even hips. It's literally just tits. It's like tits in my ass. It's like I'd be, I'd make a great trans person. I could put on 20 pounds and I would just be voluptuous. And you could probably you could probably dunk on all those bitches in the WNBA. Yeah, there you go. Go make some go make some of that, that pro basketball money. Yeah. Fucking all right, we gotta wrap. Do you have anything else you want to add to this uh the latest you, you said you were just kind of like recapping it online. What were some of the stuff you were reading? Mm, what did I read? Well, I, I took interest in the uh personalities that were apparently hanging out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, my, what was some of the bit- stuff you heard? Because like I said, I didn't read the entire thing. I read like a lot of it, but like it is nine hundred something pages. Uh, I, I mean, it, the personalities they were just talking. Clinton. I mean, the big names were the ones we mentioned. It was Clinton, Michael Jackson. Dershowitz. That head, it was that it, Dershowitz. By the way, I watched Dershowitz in an interview the other day. I'm going to play this on the next Run Your Mouth. Okay. And oh my God! Firstly, he's such a weird character because y- your claim to fame is that you got OJ off. So the fact that you then become like an elite person or a political correspondent or like was he legal. already the clinton's lawyer he might have been he and also he wrote that book uh the the case for israel and i and he is a harvard guy but i'm just saying like i would think that in polite company if you're the guy who got oj off it's not some it's not a character that to me a healthy culture would celebrate you know what i mean like that it, 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 isn't there a degree of rot and being the guy who got like that's like being a huckster you know what i mean like that's uh i mean unless like, you believe in the right to counsel yeah i believe i i I, I believe in the right to counsel but there's something i don't know in sales you know if you're selling a bad product that was your choice to sell a bad product like you can Mm -hmm. use your powers for good or evil and i I don't know lawyers got this weird other system and i'm not saying i got a better system worked out here but you know lawyers seem to have this other system where it's like you're innocent until proven guilty so my job is just to even if this guy's guilty to go defend him and if that works then that's just showcasing my prowess and i did my job i don't know there's something uh there's like if you become a saul goodman character and your entire thing is that you'll just defend criminals or you're the guy who can get rapists off or you're the guy who can get the like you're you're known as that specialist like well i think there's also something about um you kind of end up where you end up Right. So it's like, I don't think anybody goes into criminal defense. Right. Believing that they'll become that guy. But it's like anything else. You become corrupted over time. Like people go into criminal defense because they believe the justice system is flawed and we're locking people in cages for no reason. Right. And, and then, then you end up defending some uh, some people in, that. Yeah. The, who, the well, ones who in can the pay beginning, the bills. In the beginning, you get stuck doing that. Right. Right. Like it's like even if you're not a public defender, if there's not enough public defenders, a judge can just tell you you have to do this. 
Right. You know what I mean? Like you're in a pool and you have to do this. So now you do that three times. You go, well, I'm really good at this. Right. And I got all this fucking legal debt. I have all this law school debt. You think it's going to turn out Dershowitz's Mossad also? Like he was literally assigned to Epstein to be the uh, the lawyer on this operation and try and keep it uh, out of the public eye and everyone out of jail? I'm more curious if he's getting lip injections from the same guy Matt Reif is. Oh, well, whoever's doing his lip injections should clean his teeth. He has the mouth <laughs> of a fucking demon. I don't even understand why you'd be so wealthy and spend so much time in front of the camera and not just have a dentist fix that. Have you yeah, seen Dershowitz's kinda... mouth? It's like it's like a black smoker's mouth. Well, I'll be honest. That's like uh, 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 even more evidence that he was probably fucking kids on this island. You don't have to look hot if they're fucking prisoners. Yeah. Anyways, I watched him in this interview. I should, uh, I'll send you the clip, but he's just so clearly lying. It's just, uh, yeah, yeah. Send me the clip. I'd love to, I'd love to take a look at that shit. Yeah. But, uh, I guess to your point, you know, it's always odd what information they'll even make available. And it's clear that they're not interested in the truth because the number one thing we should be looking at is who cut the deals in the government and what the hell happened at the FBI with all the tapes that they took. What were the tapes? Someone must've logged it. Whatever tapes were taken from a safe in his house, I can't imagine that they just lost it that day. They must have looked at it to be like, hey, what is this? Mm -hmm. So what was it? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. so uh, to your point, it seems like the machine has a good job, uh, does a good job of controlling the story. And if anything, I guess this speaks to your point where uh, I, the, I haven't read it, but I guess the one person coming forward is going, I was involved in sex. And then uh, there was that the stewardess lady from the plane that they interviewed who also said that uh, she never saw any of this happening. Um, and then you have the uh, the New York Post wrote an article about this lady down in Florida who used to actually book the massage appointments. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a person you'd think they'd want to, like, who was getting massages? What was going on in these massages? Like, you would know. Yeah. You would know if, uh, if after every massage, people are getting jerked off by kids or not. You would know that. Dude, I'll be honest, though. I was looking through the fucking list of names, and then I would see them get listed. I'm like, this is this person. I'm like, I have no idea who the CEO of this company is. Right. You know what I mean? It has to be Bill Clinton for you to right. recognize him. It has to be Michael Jackson. It has to be Donald Trump. It has to be. Like, dude, I think until I knew who Alan Dershowitz was, but until he started popping up on all these talking head shows to promote that book where he said that the uh, the, the charges against Trump will never hold up, like until that, I probably couldn't have fucking picked him out of a lineup. Right. Like, I mean, if you showed me a lineup of four people, I would instinctively pick the Jewiest looking one. <laughs> but I would not have known definitively. Like if it was like, you know, it was like if it was like deal or no deal, and I had to open that case, I'd be like, all right, lock it in. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, that's where I would go, but I wouldn't be a hundred percent confident. As one last point, the public interest in this case has to be, if you were to line up all the current news stories going on and go, what is the most interesting to the general public? This would be number one. If you had some bombshell information about the Epstein report a week out from the election, people would rather hear about the Epstein information. And yet, how much airtime does it actually get on Fox, CNN, MSNBC, across the board? I don't watch those news networks, but you don't see constant coverage. You don't see a ton. You know what I mean? I mean, it was very funny to see the lead up um, to these documents getting released. The amount of people like I was Googling Epstein documents just to see if they dropped. And the vast majority of headlines that at least Google was showing me were just Bill Clinton not named in Epstein files <laughs> that hadn't come out yet. Right. And then he was named in them more so than Trump was not like anything super incriminating, but like um, Bill Clinton, like that was the top thing. And I'm just going, this is fucking shady as shit. Also, we all know Bill Clinton's a fucking creep. Tw was it 22 you, women accused him of rape? What do you think Hillary's into? Like, do you think Hillary... I think she's ever... asexual. I think her and Beyonce are both asexual, and they're just in it for the fucking power. So Hillary has no sexual appetite, just aligned herself with Bill because she saw a winner in him and was like, do whatever you want. We're not well, having sex. I think specs. he also needed... He needed somebody ruthless. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, he's like... 
I think it's the same thing where it's like, you know, they, you know, there's a narrative around there's someone fucking... for everybody. So they're just two sociopaths who found each other. Yeah. And like, Bill Clinton was like, oh, you're going to let me keep doing this fucking creep shit. And she was right. like, yes. And yes. yet they, and they still like each other's, co- they like each other's company. Like there's a loving relationship there. That's just different from ours. And that she likes having a man on hand <laughs> yeah. and he likes having a lady that will let him be a fucking creep. Yeah. Be a fucking pig. I mean, like, look, I understand his side of it. I don't understand hers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like, if you're a fucking degenerate, but you also want to be in politics, you find a Hillary Clinton, you're like, I'm locking this down. Right. Like, you right. know what I mean? Like, it's like, what do I got to do? Pump three loads in you until you get fucking pregnant? Whatever, lady. How many times do you think Bill and Hillary have even had sex? Do you I think mean, in the early once days? Once we know when- of. Do you think when they were in their 20s, they were getting after it and they got bored of each other or just they that was never their relationship? I think I don't know if they were getting after it. I think she like was his girlfriend. Like, I don't know that they were ever really fucking rabid fucking behind a dumpster or something like. And I think like that was just kind of his thing. And he was just like. She was just kind of like, you can be president. He was like, I can be president. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, all right. Let's fucking uh let's wrap this up. Any final thoughts? Um, no, nah, I hope we get more. These are the fun stories. You know, what do I want to read about the Federal Reserve for? What's uh pedophiles enough, in Washington? Yeah. That's true. All right, cool. All right, and go check out yodelta.com, the home of uh uh the Delta 8 home of gas digital network. Use the promo code gas and you will get 25% off your order. Uh all right, thanks, Rob. <laughs>